today's question is, will a volcano erupt in Canada? If we look at the distribution of volcanoes around the world, they tend to be located along plate boundaries, seen here in an image from Petal Chile. Volcanism continues to occur in western and northern Canada in modern times, where it forms part of an encircling chain of volcanoes and frequent earthquakes around the Pacific Ocean called the Pacific Ring of Fire. When we look at Canada specifically, we can see volcanoes located in BC and the Yukon, seen in this simple figure presented by Global News. The Canadian volcanoes are part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc. This image is from the CBC. The biggest misconception of Canadian volcanoes is that they do not exist, that the USA volcanoes stop at the BC-Washington border and restart in Alaska. Canada is commonly thought to occupy a gap in the ring of fire between the volcanoes of western United States to the south and the Aleutian volcanoes of Alaska to the north. Not true. If we look at BC and the Yukon, we see five volcanic belts and fields comprised of large volcanic complexes and small volcanoes, seen in this image from Natural Resources Canada. The volcanoes are the result of the subducting plate along the west coast of Canada. Thick layers of sediment accumulate in the trench, which along with the rocks of the subducting plate containing water that is transported to depth. And at higher temperatures and pressures, melting occurs and magma forms. The magma rises up to the surface, forming chains of volcanoes. This is quite different than the origin for, for example, the Yellowstone volcano, which we talked about last week. Zooming in, in this figure from the USGS, we can see specific volcanoes like Garibaldi behind Whistler, as well as many in the relatively unpopulated and therefore less concerning to most region of the Northern Cordilleran Volcanic Province. Did you know there's a volcanic field behind Whistler? Mount Meager is closer to a highly populated area located outside of Pemberton and blending in well with the surrounding mountains. See this image from Science Borealis. Mount Meager erupted explosively 2,350 years ago and spread ash as far away as Alberta. One of the reasons few are aware of Canada's volcanoes is the surrounding geography. They are hiding amongst ragged mountains, whereas in Washington State, Oregon, and California, they stick out amongst the plains, such as Mount Baker, Mount Rainier, or Mount St. Helens. Volcanoes in western and northern Canada are in relatively remote and sparsely populated areas and their activity is less frequent than with other volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean. The mountainous landscapes include more than 200 potentially active volcanoes. Very few scientists study these volcanoes. The provision of money in the Canadian government is limited and the private sector is mostly uninterested in this work unless there's a direct financial reward. Having worked on dozens of these myself, they typically require helicopter support and strategic expedition planning in order to collect any useful data. There is no doubt that a volcano will erupt in Canada, likely with quite a bit of warning sometime in the future. The most recent eruption was at Lava Fork 150 years ago. What we can do is be aware that volcanoes do indeed exist in Canada and not be surprised if something happens, even if it doesn't affect us directly. We're going to talk more about this topic later in detail. If we can assist by covering a natural hazard topic that you're interested in, please let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. For more videos like it, subscribe and hit that notification bell.